of parents, the Food Unwrap team can struggle to get their kids to eat vegetables. Who wants a nice mushroom? No! According to a recent survey, almost half of all primary school children don't manage one, let alone five portions of fruit and veg a day. Our high street supermarkets have come up with the idea that changing a vegetable into a fun shape will help our kids eat up. But do they work? To find out, I'm dropping in on a primary school on a drizzly day in Bristol. Looks like these guys are holding up quite enough time for their lunch. Head dinner lady Nicola Bird has been serving lunches here for five years. So what's on the menu today? Uh, it's roast beef today. Roast beef and vegetables. vegetables yeah. We're going to serve half the children with normal square-shaped veg and the other with our stars and hearts. Well, you've got a lot of fun. That's <laughs> quite a job. <laughs> After some intensive cutting, Nicola cooks both versions as usual. And then it's feeding time. Table eating our fancy shapes got on. Oh, that's our boom. What do you think it is? Ah, it's a, big oh, a big spider. We don't have to worry, it's not a spider. Which one's your favourite on your plate? How oh, is it? You like that one? Do you like the vegetables? No? Which one was your favourite? I like everything. And the star one. The star. And what about the table that had squares? Have you eaten that before? Did you like it? No? Lunchtime's over, and to help me make sense of the empty and not so empty plates, I've asked children's dietitian Nicole Clayton to pop by. This was the square shaped table. And you can see sweet potato on all of their plates. They didn't do very well with it, did they? They have tried it, but it's not something that they've eaten a lot of. This is the table where the kids ate the star shapes. It's a little different. It is different. The ones who have enjoyed the vegetable have certainly finished all of the vegetable. Mm -hmm. But we have got some that have just been nibbled. I mean, this is a very, very small sample size of kids, but interesting to see. The shaped food does seem to have had an impact, and there is a famous experiment which may reveal why. It's time for part two of the experiment. Now we're using shapes. Which one of these do you think is Booba and which one is Kiki? A star, just like my butternut squash, and a rounded blob. Me too, Booba. Kiki. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and Kiki. Yeah. Booba and Kiki. Booba, Kiki. This time, all the people we asked named the sharp, pointy star shape as Kiki and the rounded blob as Booba. Recently, researchers in Singapore carried out the experiment again and came up with similar results. So how does this have an impact on kids and what they eat? There's an opportunity within there to encourage kids to eat foods that they maybe can relate to more. With butternut squash and other kind of sweeter ingredients, maybe more of a kind of booba type shape would help. And maybe foods that are a little bit tart and crispy, crunchy, in more of a kiki shape. So changing the shape of food can have an impact on taste. It'll definitely uh, change our perception of taste, yeah. So shaped veg definitely has the potential to win over the kids. But for soft, sweet butternut squash, rounded shapes might be a better bet. Thank you.